Today's video was made in partnership with Gillette Venus. Hi guys, it's Janine and welcome back to my vlog channel and I apologize for the weird delayed um, out of order vlogs. So, so sorry about that. Um, I wanted to show you guys really quickly something really, really cool that Danny and I did, Danny's my roommate, that we did yesterday and it's called this, it's called um, cryotherapy. It's basically where you get in a freezer and it like freezes your body to negative 320 degrees Fahrenheit. It's crazy. We did it after our workout. So I wanted to insert that really quickly. Just give you guys some updates and just take you along with me throughout my day and show you guys some sneak previews of some other videos I have going up very soon. So hope you guys enjoyed this clip from yesterday's vlog. It's kind of funny. So let's jump into that. Whoa. Oh my gosh. Wait, wait, wait. I'll just say But you put it on the socks. And the gloves, and then you get an extra pair of gloves. I mean, it looks like that's a scary number. I know. This is so crazy. It makes me not want to do it. No, it's fine. My feet feel so good when you go out. Your face. You're at negative 217 degrees right now. A little bit warmer. This is the um the OOTD. Some fancy outfit going on here. Killing it. To go in. Okay. So I take my robe off where. Where do I put this thing? You just drop it. I'll get it. Or here, I'll come get it. Hey guys. <laughs> she has to raise me up. You nervous? Yeah. But I'm also like. <laughs> <laughs> it looks so cool. I literally thought you could take my boots. I know. No, you didn't barely see your neck. Yeah. Do you have any injuries or anything? Or anything? You're <laughs> sore. Yeah. Oh, okay. Really yeah. Really sore. This is the craziest thing I've ever felt. <laughs> Okay, it's like vape live. <laughs> like you're in the freezer out of Tom Thumb, but it's like 10 times more. Yeah. <laughs> Alright guys, I just finished it and it like I, I got so cold that it made my lip purple. Like what the heck? But it wasn't that bad. Like it's cold, but like you get out and so it's it's good. And it feels really refreshing, like your body's like tingling and like I don't know. It was an interesting little sensation. I I'd do it again though. Pretty, pretty interesting feeling that I was not used to, but I liked it. It was cool. I like it. So that was from yesterday, and I've just been hanging out in my room, just kind of looking at some of the clips from the video that Danny and I filmed today, which I think you guys are going to love. Um, we filmed it this morning, and I've been filming it honestly last week, this twice this week, so I have been working my little booty off. So since I worked out earlier, I got really sweaty, and I've been hanging out my workout clothes for like two hours so I probably should jump in the shower and shave and you know the whole shebang okay I just got out of the shower feel really good as I was in the shower shaving my body you know making myself basically into a naked mole rat Anybody else do that? Cause summer's here, like summer's that time where like you're wearing shorts and bikinis and like less clothing and people want less hair on their body. I mean, I know I do. And so I thought about how I wanted to tell you guys the first time I ever shaved and this myth that revolves around hair because there's this crazy myth revolving around hair that I feel like still persists today. And I want to debunk it for you guys. But I basically want to talk to you guys about a product I have been using for the past two months. And I've also used this product like way back in the day too. This has like been an amazing reoccurring product for me. So here's the product I want to talk to you guys about. This is the Gillette Venus Swirl Razor. And here's what it looks like. And I really like this razor because it has this flexi ball which moves side to side and in multiple different directions. That way you can get all the hard to reach spots like behind the knees, ankles, knees, armpits. But I just like this razor because I can count on it to not miss any hairs and to just give my legs a really, really nice smooth finish. So definitely recommend and this will be linked down below for you guys. And I've been pairing it with this. This is the new Venus with Olay Moisturizing Shower and Shave Cream. It combines moisturizing ingredients from Olay so it protects your skin and gently cleanses it while you shave. And in my experience, it helps prevent nicks and cuts, so that is definitely why I use it. When I first started shaving, I always heard that waxing was better, especially from my mom, because my mom 
really believe this myth and I feel like a lot of people still believe this myth today that if like you shave your hair is gonna come back darker thicker faster it's gonna grow faster and I believe this for such a long time so my mom was the one who's always like you should wax and I didn't have money to do that and it sounded so painful which it is it's so painful and so I personally just prefer shaving over waxing and I can just do it at home it's more convenient there's no mess there's no in-between days no harsh chemicals and that way I'm not missing out on any like last minute plans I can just shave in the shower and be good to go and run out the door so when I was 12 everybody around me was shaving all my friends were shaving I've always been more of a hairier girl and I wanted to shave so badly because I felt self-conscious about it I was like I want this gone but my mom she didn't want me doing it because she thought if I shaved it was gonna grow back darker thicker fuller and she was like if you shave anything it's gonna come back super fast and you have to shave again the next day and like all this stuff like she believed this myth and finally I just was like mom I can't take it anymore and I did it secretly and I like used this cheap like gross disposable shaver I'm pretty sure it was my big sisters and I used it and I cut myself I don't think I used shaving cream and I had so much razor burn and bumps everywhere it was so bad but I finally you know grew up and learned the right way to shave and I found it also that that myth is not true so that's like a little myth busting fact for you guys if you shave your hair it does not grow back darker or thicker or fuller or faster it really just depends on your genetics it does not depend on shaving boom mine blown it has nothing to do with shaving it's all your genetics on average your hair grows a quarter of an inch a month regardless of whether you shave this myth persists because the blunt ends of your hair gives the illusion that your hair is thicker but it's really not so looks are deceiving so if you guys have any more hair related questions or shaving questions you guys can tweet Gillette Venus and they're going to be answering you guys in real time offering you some smooth truth while busting myths and common misconceptions so make sure you do that if you guys have any more questions related to to shaving and hair but definitely give these a try this summer I'm definitely gonna be using these this whole summer hope you guys will check it out it'll be linked down below for you guys also I decided not to film anymore today because it's just it, today's just not a filming day it's just not so I'm gonna go run some errands instead I have a couple things to pick up really quickly but I want you guys to say hi to Hazel <laughs> this is how we find Danny <laughs> What? She's obsessed with her dog. I love her. She's so cute. Guys, we sleep at night like this. Yeah, if you guys follow Danny on Instagram, you'll see like the crazy positions that mm. they sleep together. Like her paw was like on Danny's eye, like just like covering she it. Like this. Oh, she loves me so much. She really does though. Dog, whenever dogs stare at you in the eyes. <laughs> Whenever dogs stare at you in the eyes, that means that they love you. And yesterday, Janine came in my room, and Hazel was just like, she was starstruck. Is it right, Hazel? Her eyes glazed over, and she was like, oh, all right. she loves you. Hazel doesn't like take a liking towards to a lot of my friends, but as soon as she met you, she was obsessed with you. I'm not kidding. And it's so funny. So Hazel kind of goes like, feel it. Look me. Oh my God. Did you? Oh. <laughs> she loves <laughs> you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I've always been more of a cat person, but like I truly feel like Hazel has made me into more of a dog person. We make out so much. Okay. <laughs> you're saying you're a dog person. Come up here. Be aware. We're just Hazel like is going to. Oh my gosh, she looks so cute. She's going to. We have a question for you. Do you like Brighton's new glasses? They're prescriptive, and she wants to know if she should get more of a um. An everyday pair. <laughs> yeah. But I kind of, I kind of. Oh. Should I just post that? Mm. Wait. Oh crap. Hold on. I feel like, oh, I, have, so I, feel like I have a face filter on. Hi. <laughs> oh, there's that one on this, uh, Snapchat you can use. Whoa, these are cute. I, I can't see anything. anything. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I wish oh my god, that hurts. That hurts. Wish we got that on film. I did. Oh. <laughs> Vlog fam, what do you think of these glasses? I've seen so many girls wear glasses like these. I think they're so cute. You know, like, can, can you see yourself? Alexa. Yeah, Alexa but Alexa friend, it really she hurts. I can't. Can you see yourself? They're, I'm not that blind. No, I just, it's, I mean, it's a different prescription. Like, it hurts. I can see. You clearly <laughs> now. now the fog, fog is gone. I thought it was the rain. Wait, no, <laughs> no, it is fog, but like fog, like, like I'm blind, you know? Oh. <laughs> So I decided this time to run errands, <laughs> change into a big t-shirt, leggings, put the hair up because that's when you know it ain't filming day anymore when you just 
I'm probably, probably gonna plan on filming on Monday because I just wasn't feeling it today. I feel like when I film for my main channel, I, I really wanna be like in the mood, happy, like ready to go, and it is seven o'clock, and I just don't feel like I'm as, as peppy right now for my main channel video. If my roommates are ever wondering where the dishes are, here they are. I'm disgusting, I know. So, I kind of suck at vlogging. I like totally forgot I was vlogging. And I went to Best Buy, and I went to the mall to return stuff, and then I was like, wait a second, I didn't even vlog. So now I'm in Michael's. I'm picking up, I'm trying to get like a new backdrop because I want to film this beauty video. And I want to get like a really cool backdrop instead of just filming like on my bed because I want to switch things up. Another thing that's really exciting, so if you guys have been watching my vlogs, you may have seen that I got the Canon ADD. Now, I ended up returning it because it still had this weird focusing issue and there really wasn't much of an upgrade from the 70 to an 80. I was like, it's not worth spending that much money. But y'all, I just got this camera that I've been wanting for forever. And I was like, Janine, don't do it, don't do it. But I finally caved in and I was like, I'm gonna do it. All right, everybody, meet my new baby, the Canon 5D Mark IV. It, this was definitely a splurge, but I have thought about this camera for such a long time. Like honestly, ever since I've hung out with Ava, like two years ago and she had the 5d mark three like i have been wanting this camera for two years and dang so this was definitely an investment it's gonna be an amazing camera i'm so excited about it and um this is gonna be amazing in greece like i kept thinking like all the amazing pictures i can take with this in greece so here we have it my new baby what should i name her comment down below but now i'm gonna head into michael's we are looking 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 i have no idea what to get Oh, maybe something like, like this? I have no idea what to get. Or like this? Oh my gosh, y'all, throwback. Who watched my YouTube videos when I had one of these things and it was black? Who watched my OG videos? Like <laughs> It's Janine and today I'm going to be doing the smoky eye tutorial that you guys highly 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 requested from my summer beauty essentials video You're a true Janine and Nader, whatever the heck I call people um, If you saw me having one of these and it was black Also this this camera. Okay, what is my hair doing? This camera screen broke again for the fourth time Hey guys, I'm back home and Michaels did not have anything for a backdrop unfortunately. But I'm back home making me some dinner. We do the classic veggies. We're doing some quinoa and some barbecue chicken. I'm not eating all that chicken. I'm just marinating it right now. Dinner is served and I'm watching Sandra Deluxe. So I ate my dinner and I'm ready for bed. I have to wake up pretty early for a workout in the morning. So I'm gonna take off my makeup. So thank you guys for watching this vlog. I really hope you enjoyed it. And again, I'll be trying to post more consistently. My next trip is LA and then um, Greece. So that's really, really exciting. I will 100% be vlogging there. So I'll see you guys hopefully very, very soon. And talk to you guys later. Peace out, go scout, bye.